Hey folks, Dan Lozamo with Sundollar Energy, and this is our newest battery installation, and it's the Tesla Powerwall. Everybody is interested in Tesla these days. There's a lot of heat behind the name. I'm sure you're very interested in seeing how it works, so I'll just tell you a little bit about it. So I'm here with our operations manager, Greg Resch. He's the guy who made this all possible, and he's the guy who took the lead on the project and uh, was out here for the whole installation, yep. day and night. <laughs> so um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you like about the Powerwall and how you think it compares to some of the other battery systems that you've installed for us? So I think the biggest thing that I like is everything has a very nice, clean look. Um, you know, you don't have things with a bunch of different colors. You don't have things with stickers all over. You can actually keep something very nice and clean. Um, in terms of the install, I think it was much easier than most battery systems. I think the biggest thing uh, that is different is there's just a lot more in the configuration side inside the gateway. In terms of mounting the power walls, it's, it's a lot easier than the LG chems were because uh, you can actually put them on the ground. Um, Overall, it's really just making sure you have all your wiring correct and your, all your configuration stuff right when you're actually setting up the gateway. Uh, outside of that, it was actually a pretty easy install. Yeah, and uh, a little bit, talk a little bit about what's needed for an installation like this. So for this client, we had to actually have the circuit, pa the circuit yeah. panel was upgraded, right? So yeah, so um, when we go through a lot of the stuff, uh, this is the optimal Thing that you want is you want your meter separate from the main panel when you have them combined it brings issues with uh, grounding and bonding from the neutral and the ground so having it set up like this is ideal we had to take the combination panel off this um, and put our own meter up and then a separate service panel um, and then route everything from the meter which originally went to here into the backup gateway so it's a uh, imp important to remember that not every house is necessarily you know perfect and I think sometimes people think oh I just add this power wall and I'm gonna back up my whole house no you, you can't you do need to have um, a separate meter and your regular circuit panel separated and a lot of people don't have that they got that meter uh, circuit panel combo and while some of them you might still be able to work around it's it's not gonna be as good or clean of an installation so it presents some difficulties there and people should understand that if they don't have that, they might have a little bit of extra cost in electrical uh, upgrades, mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Um, what would you say was uh, the most difficult part of the installation? Um, one of the most difficult parts, honestly, was really just wiring up the gateway. Uh, a lot of components that we see don't really have the space needed to, to be bending big four out kind of wires. Um, they do still give a good amount of space in here, uh, but I think fully wiring that up once everything's in it is a little bit of a challenge to make everything nice and neat. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit of a learning curve with the setting up the monitoring and, and all that, but I guess once you've done it once, it's it's pretty easy comparison. Yeah, it's really just the configuration with the backup gateway. Once you get through all that and you kind of know what you're doing, it makes it a lot, a lot easier to set it up in the future. Uh, first time always a little bit challenging just to figure everything out, but overall we got everything up and running and it's working good. So here is the actual Tesla Powerwall. This is a battery, a lithium ion battery, and it's also an inverter. So they call it like the power pack. So uh, it's capable of storing 13.5 uh, kilowatt hours of energy, and it outputs at 5,000 watts, and it has a little bit of surge capability there. Um, there's actually two here. There's one here and one in the back. They stack outwards for a very small footprint. Um, you can stack them on the ground or you can wall mount them. Uh, stacking them on the ground is probably the best uh, way of doing this because uh, they weigh, uh, how much do these things weigh? 100 and 200, 250 pounds, yeah. <laughs> they weigh a lot, so it's really hard to, to, to do this. Um, you're not gonna wanna lift it on the wall unless you've got a winch. So. Um, the client here has a 12 kW solar array, which worked very well for this. Um, the brains behind the operation, or I guess one of the things that I think is really neat about Tesla's design, is they've got the gateway here. The gateway is where all the energy passes through, and you can also have the uh, solar energy loads land on here. And I think they did a, a really good job in terms of design. It was really smart. Um, so the way it works is you've got the, the grid meter. It goes through and passes through the gateway first. 
This is different from some of the other critical loads uh, battery panels that we have done where you basically create a secondary critical loads panel. So it cuts down on that work a little bit. Um, but the way it works is the whole house becomes a, a, a backup panel, essentially. So if the grid goes out, the whole house is able to disconnect from the grid via this gateway, okay? And uh, then power loads. Um, another thing that's really cool about the Tesla Powerwall is you can set it to maximum self-consumption. So instead of the batteries just being uh, storing energy all the time and being at 100%, they can be uh, consuming energy out of them at night and you can basically uh, use all of your solar energy and then all the extra energy you're not sending anything to the grid. So in certain utilities that might be very beneficial to you. Uh, here this is a wake electric utility and they don't have kind of a straight net metering policy. The way it works is uh, any extra energy that you send to the grid in the day uh, you get a reduced rate uh, compensated off of your bill uh, than what you're paying. So you might pay 12 or 14 cents a kilowatt hour for energy, and if you give them energy, you might only get back four, five, six uh, cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So that's not an even exchange, but having the Tesla Powerwall, it really saves you some money there because all that extra energy that your solar is producing, you, can, you get the full benefit of it and you, the reduction on your bill. So in certain utilities, it might be beneficial to someone who has solar to uh, really go with the Tesla Powerwall so they can get that maximum self-consumption setting. Um, if you have a power outage, um, you can use energy from your batteries and the whole house disconnects like a regular battery backup. So why don't you take a quick look inside. Um, and this is uh, what I was talking about here. I'll show you really quickly. So the energy the power comes in from the grid, goes through to the gateway, and this is the new disconnect switch of the whole house. And from there, there's CT rings that monitor energy going in and out, and it comes uh, through to your regular circuit panel. So this is the regular circuit panel of the, of the customer. And in between, you've got a breaker uh, where the Tesla Powerwall is uh, putting energy in and out of the system. That's Tesla power wall number one, number two, and then the solar. So solar and Tesla power walls go in and out of the system. Solar energy goes into the batteries, out of the batteries, into the circuit panel, and only as a last resort do you send extra energy to the grid. So I hope that was a, a nice, quick explanation. All right, so Greg, you just bought a house. He's getting solar on it. He's going to install it. Greg, what kind of a battery backup do you want? You would, you, we've installed lots of them. So you, he's seen the Sunny Islands, the Magnum, the LG Chem, the Tesla. Which one do you want and, uh, and why? Um, I think at first I was leaning towards kind of the SMA, but after seeing how nice and clean everything looks, I think this would be a really good addition to any home. There you go. All right. New school versus old school. <laughs> So I, I just bought a house also, and, and I'm gonna get solar with the battery backup, and I'm kind of more of the old school. I'm looking for that big battery bank that's just regular kind of AGM batteries, and uh, I don't need the bells and whistles, personally, that's me. <laughs> so we got old school versus new school, and you know what, uh, either one of them's good. I think every uh, client's different. You gotta make your decision on what's gonna work best for you, and that's gonna be based off of you know what you like, your cost uh, configuration that you already have existing and kind of what kind of reliability you're looking for down the line. So I like it. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Greg. I appreciate Thank it. Good job on the job.